Today I'm headed to a Moto Ren event in Los Angeles. Should see a lot of cool cars, hopefully some supercars and a bunch of people from the LA car community. Should be really fun. I'm gonna get the top down and head over there. Before we head out, just gotta take a moment. It does look super cool. Although it's not a supercar, you know, not something like a Ferrari Lamborghini, this car is so special to me and I think offers such a good driving experience. Something I really like about the AP2 is this little cutout right here. It's kind of discreet, but I think looks really cool. And compared to the AP1, it just gives the S2000 a way more modern look. S2000 may not be the best highway vehicle, but it sure is fun. <laughs> Drop some gears, get into VTEC. Highways in California are so bad. <laughs> if you can't see me jumping around in my seat, uh, I don't know what you're looking at, but yeah, the highways have these bumps that just in any car are so violent. Something about the S2000 that is a little bit strange is the gearing. I'm in sixth gear right now going 70 miles an hour and I'm almost at 4,000 RPM. It has really short gearing. While it is a bit of a pain on the highway, 99% of the time in the canyons or on you know smaller roads, it makes it a lot more fun. You get to row through the gears all the time. I think you can even be in fifth gear by around 30 miles per hour. While this car certainly is no highway long cruiser, it does the job just fine. The roads here are terrible, but it's not that uncomfortable when you have the windows up, you know, although my hair is going everywhere, it's not the end of the world. It's, it's pretty manageable. This car is just so much fun. Pulling up to the show now. Let's see what kind of cars are here. Can't wait to check it out. Motorin is a newer dealership in the LA area, but their collection is really cool. They have a ton of unique cars spanning a lot of different ranges. One of my favorite cars that they had was this Murcielago. I think it looks so nice in this blue. This is one of my favorite colors and these things have skyrocketed in value recently. The engine, of course, you have a massive V12 and it looks super nice with all the carbon. The interior is a little bit funky with this white, but I think the older Murcielagos are super special. You have this cool little old school carbon door placard. Motor Ren has a ton of Lamborghinis this brand new Technica is the last version of the Huracan ever to be produced. I think it really sort of rounds out the entire Huracan family and coming into the rear end, it looks really, really cool compared to the earlier Huracans. There's so many shapes going on and this massive carbon engine cover looks amazing. They also have a number of other Huracans. I really like this yellow one, this rear wheel drive model looks really good. And I think if you're in the market for a Lamborghini, Motoren is definitely a good place to come. They have so many different Lamborghinis. Of course, I think the ultimate daily driver would be a Wraith. This thing is massive and I love the hood ornament. It's definitely something different if you want to drive it, but oh my gosh, looks pretty cool. Tons of Eurises. I think they had three or four. Of course, one of my favorite cars here has to be the AMG GTR. I really think I need one of these things, but this one in a nice silver, it looks, you know, a mix of classy, but also quite aggressive. A really unique car is this manual C7 ZR1. These things have really appreciated. I think this was over $200,000. I love how you can just open up the engine and see that massive carbon fiber blower. You have the manual transmission right there. And this car, like I said, I think it's over $200,000, which is super expensive, but this is a delivery mileage car. I mean, just look at this wing. It's so big. I don't know, would you rather have this or a new C8? I'm not quite sure. This was an interesting spec GT3 RS. It actually has the comfort seats if I come in. I'm wondering how many GT3 RSs have the comfort seats and not the, the you know carbon buckets, but 
I love the lava orange on this car. And I think these things have just aged so well. Also pretty rare, the GTR Pro. The GTR Pro has a more aggressive front end. You have the louvers right here, and you also have a couple other bits on the back that just make it even more focused for the track. I really love this car, but to be honest, I prefer the GTR over the GTR Pro, but an amazing car nonetheless. Of course, the daddy of all Lamborghinis, the Aventador, this thing still, I think is over 10 years old, but looks amazing. There's something about an Aventador, which is just iconic Lamborghini. The road presence of this thing is, is insane. It's so wide and you have that cool looking V12 with the glass. This is will forever be an iconic Lamborghini. Giving some competition to the Wraith, you have a S65 with a twin turbo V12. These are definitely a dying breed. Um, a couple G-Wagons here as well, but just looking at the S65's carbon ceramic brakes, I think I'd actually have this over the Wraith. Really amazing collection overall. They have so many exotic cars and really unique examples of, you know, some, some really appreciating cars that I think not a lot of dealerships are, are selling now. Thank you so much for Motoren for having me. Really, really cool event. Well, that was a really cool event. Uh, I think they're starting to do more and more events, but Motor Run has a really awesome inventory. I talked to some of the guys there. They're super nice. Um, and I think they're growing their inventory and sales over the last two years. But yeah, I think their cars are really cool. The Murcielago was pretty sweet, as well as a couple other cool cars like the GT3 RS. Of course, the AMG GTRs caught my eye, but overall just a really cool collection of cars. Yeah, awesome event and really fun to hang out. I'm going to end off the video with a little highway poll. But thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, consider subscribing. And I'll be back with some more videos here pretty soon. Thanks so much for watching. Let's see what this S2000 VTEC can do. Downshift in a second. And... All right, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.